Uh, but first of all, let me introduce our celebrity chef uh, from uh, um, from Chef Worthy, uh, Michael Potter. Hi, Michael. Hey, Lauren. Thanks for wow. coming in today. You're on cheering section. That's yeah, that never happens. You happened. must be big. Otherwise, because I've heard about I you. Have food. I have food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So now you brought a kitchen worth of stuff here, yeah, and our engineer yeah. is going to freak out, which makes me as happy as pie. <laughs> so, um, what exactly are we going to make today? Okay, so for Thanksgiving for me, because yeah. I'm a chef and yeah. I have to eat something different, mm -hmm. I'd like to have venison tartare. Venison tartare. Yeah. So, uh, Todd, have you ever had any kind of tartare before? Tartare sauce on my... <laughs> <laughs> on your fish and chips. On your fish and chips. On my haddock. We'll, we'll bring uh, <laughs> our entertainment reporter, Orlena Kane, in. Orlena, have, you ever, know, have you ever sorry. had... Uh, You're going to sit on my lap again? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> have you ever had tartare in your life? No, you're, you're kind of a foodie. Yeah, I've had tartare. Yeah, yeah. No, this is... Tar well, tartare is a beef. French yeah. bistro classic, right? Yeah, it is, and it's just, you know, using venison is just a little bit different. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not... It's Ontario venison it's not local nobody shot it although if you're a if you're a hunter you know, or you're a bull hunter this time of year and maybe you get one um it'd be a good idea to uh, perhaps make some tartar okay so tartar is yes. raw meat it's but raw because meat. it's so fresh you're not going to get sick from it right oh, no, 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 no 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 that's no. the key no, you're not getting sick from this at all and it's it, it's very very tasty so we have we have shallots we have garlic we have parsley there's a whole bunch of different ingredients i'm going to put some olive oil on the side of it it looks I delicious. See. I can't believe it. It actually usually Orlando when you come in, it smells good in here. But now this smells <laughs> a lot better. Than yeah. That. yeah, it smells better than the Monday morning round table. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. no, this sure. is pretty good. That's Glisky's fault. And we want to hear your favorite Thanksgiving recipe, by the way. 866-969-1546. <laughs> Everybody who calls in with their Thanksgiving recipe will instantly qualify for our fantastic. Caribbean cruise, which, by the way, they have fantastic food on cruise ships, Michael. Mm. And so, if like you don't that. like if you don't like meat for you know Thanksgiving, Spicy. there are great squashes, <laughs> and pumpkins for That's the right. vegetarians. And I know my wife is going to take this monstrosity of an item. That's yours. That's yeah, I know. Yours. And she's yep. going to make a, a soup with it for Thanksgiving oh, dinner. It's delicious. You know, with uh, county apples. County apples for sure. I always, whenever I hear of people who are vegetarians, I'm in in support of vegetarianism because well, there'd just be more animals for me to hold, eat. Hold on. What the heck are you putting in there right now? I'm going to drop a quail eggs in here. Quail Ooh, eggs. Quail eggs. Yes. Delicious. Where do you get a I'm quail egg? Wish, that from, a quail. from a quail. From a quail. <laughs> These ones come from... Uh, yeah, but that's a good question because you don't get the Easter eggs from a bunny. Lots that's of true. Lots, right? You don't? No, you don't. Okay. So, yeah, where do you get a quail egg around here? Uh, let's see. Um, you may have a little bit of a difficulty finding them in a grocery store sometimes. Yeah, I think you would what's have. That, what's that little Asian place up in... Uh, Can Asia? No, a Global, oh, Global, Global Foods. Global Foods. Check yeah. them out. And they may not, have quail If eggs. not, ask them because he'll, uh, they'll bring them in for you. Wow. Yeah. How much is a quail egg? They're really cheap. Like one package of quail eggs at 24 is about uh, two bucks. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Yeah, they are really cheap. Tiny little eggs. Yeah, but they're nice. Well, so are quails. Yeah. How come we're not eating the quail, by the way? Because uh, I don't have any quail with me. I'll bring okay, it next right. time. That's, right? that's yeah. going into the on the menu tonight. <laughs> yeah. So you can actually hear. It's Hero Vision. You can hear him stirring. Which is, can, you can hear that. <laughs> so what did you do for your birthday last night, Smitty? Uh, I had uh, tartare <laughs> on, sauce on, on my fish, fish that yeah. I got at the boathouse, actually. Oh, well, nice. And Very I had some nice uh, lobster. Oh, well. Mm. And a uh, nice shrimp. Now, being a maritimer, and I know your family is down for yeah. Thanksgiving, will you do anything different than we would have here in our more traditional kind of turkey stuffing? No. No? Okay. Turkey no. with lobster. Oh, I know what you would do. You would make scallops. it really, really well done. Because for some reason, it seems Maritimers really overcook stuff. And the Ottawa Valley. Yeah. Yeah, they're like that, too. Uh, you know what? We're having a nice seafood dinner tonight. Mom uh, actually brought a whole bunch of fresh seafood back from the East Coast. They just arrived late last night. So, mm. Michael, yeah. if you're not doing anything later, I mean, Mom's a great uh, cook. But, I'm, uh, I'm cooking tonight. You know? <laughs> I'm cooking back at the restaurant. Friday night, the stoves are going. What can I do? Yeah. I, mean, I would share. You're, you're sharing your venison tartare. Oh, yes. So we're eating deer. Dope. Dope. A deer. Well, this is very cool. Uh, of course, Thanksgiving is a big thing. What's your favorite for Thanksgiving food, Todd? Well, it's turkey and the dressing. Yeah. Love it. Love the turkey and the dressing. Mm. Cranberries are good on there, too. That's nice. So you're more of a, a cranberry guy than a, a, a gravy guy? Oh, no. you got to pour the gravy <laughs> on it, too. Like, traditional. Yeah. Traditional. Yeah. Big yeah. time traditional, yeah.
I think one of the, the neat things that can happen is is kind of going to our farmer's market. The farmer's market will be open tomorrow in Belleville and finding some cool mm-hmm. veggies and stuff. And so, mm-hmm. you know, if even if you're going to do the traditional thing, you can get some of those little baby carrots or, or blue potatoes or whatever. You'll be able to buy those because Ed's going to be, Ed and Sandy, go to the market here in Belleville. Yeah, and so that's great. So mm-hmm. if you're going to make a soup or even yep. if you just have squash, you know, people like to roast mm-hmm. squash and things okay. like that, buy something cool like this, like this French pumpkin. And yeah. roast it the same way with a little butter or olive oil, some pepper. How come squash and pepper go so well together? It's like a natural, isn't it? Sweet and uh, sweet and the peppery. Oh, it's it so works, good. It works yeah. really good. And cinnamon and nutmeg and star anise and all those kind of spices really go well mm-hmm. with it, too. So and you're doing your soup. And then the pumpkin mm-hmm. pie. I'm not a big fan of the pumpkin pie. No, no. My mom makes a great pumpkin pie. Yeah, no. A little whipped cream on there. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. I, would, I, mm-hmm. I like the apple pie. My mom makes a great apple pie, too. I still haven't been able to do that part of it. All right, so we've put pepper and salt in a whole mm-hmm. bunch of stuff. And I'm ready to go. Tabasco. A little bit of Tabasco, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of shallots, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of capers, parsley. Did I say parsley? Okay, parsley. now, what is a sh- shallot or a shallot? What oh, is, I mean, it is like a mixture of an onion and a garlic. Small onion. So if you take, a let's say, a green onion, make it bigger. Very strong flavor. Yeah, it's stronger than it is. Stronger than a regular onion. And and it, they they're featured in a lot of types of cooking. Lots of mm. French cooking, right? Yeah. And so this would be a, a typical French bistro dish, right? This is this is a typical French bistro dish, and it's like so good. But you have to like the thing is you have to hand chop it. You can't grind the meat. Hand chopping is the way it has to be, and it has the meat has to be very fresh. All right. So people out there are going, what yeah, the so heck is going on on the Lauren Brooker Show today? We're right, eating I, raw deer. Yeah, I mean, I, I love having venison for Thanksgiving and sometimes even for Christmas dinner, you know, because it's, it's just... It, like, <laughs> isn't, it's that, isn't that, like, evil, though? I mean, you're, aren't you eating, like, <laughs> Rudolph? <laughs> I like to have something different. You know, it's like, I love turkey, too. I have a, yeah. great, I have a great turkey. I've got a 25-pounder ready to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, that came from, uh, from Carson Bay Farms. And out in the county as well, in 49. And it's a great turkey. And it's, you know, find a, find a good turkey. I mean, the butter ball is okay in a pinch, you know, if you miss, you miss the, the farmer or whatever. But try to find a really good turkey that's been, that's been raised really well on good feed. And make sure that it's free range too. Yeah. And there's a big difference in flavor. Is it too late now? It's Friday. Yeah, yeah. You're running. Yeah, you have to order them in advance. I ordered that turkey like way in advance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am getting a fresh turkey this year. I know, I know that. Are you? But I don't know where Good. it's come from, but I know I ordered a, f- a French turkey. <laughs> a French turkey? A fresh turkey. A French turkey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. oh, it could very well be a French turkey. How does a French I'll, I'll turkey gobble? It, yeah. I'll ask it before I shove <laughs> stuffing into its carcass. Hey, parlez-vous français, monsieur? Oh, oui. All right. I was in Toronto and I ate at my friend's restaurant called Bomer. It's a new place on Ossington. And I had a, I had a venison tartare. And him and I are really good old friends, so... You know, I'm, I'm making the tartar to try to like, mm-hmm. you know, to to compete with them today. All right, wow. well, it's almost good. Now, this is Michael Potter's mm-hmm. uh, celebrity chef extraordinaire. That's what he goes for. Right? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Todd? I am You're ready. I've been eyeing that for 20 minutes now. <laughs> okay, come on, chef, pick up the pace a little bit here. Yeah, I gotta hurry up. <laughs> wow. That's nice, perfection. Huh? That is. That's nice. People right can't see here. this, but they're too, it's a long rectangle plate. Uh, mm-hmm. He's putting homemade, uh, like, Christini. Christinis. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Marlena. And uh, it's like two patties in the Gainsburger style. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, it looks yeah, like yeah. a couple Scotty, of burgers. With, Scotty, this is too classy for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's Look, at he's salivating already. All right. All right. Now, okay, if you're going to serve this at the restaurant. Here. What's the procedure? Just grab some in. crustini, grab a, grab a fork, dig in. Do you want um, me to make you one more? You can mix yes. up the, the egg a little bit. Like, okay. just push that egg around. And that's one of the fun things about doing it at the tables. You can kind of like, you are know, gonna be okay play, eating play with egg. food. Uh, oh, yeah, those eggs are fresh. Don't you worry. Come on, Rocky. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bit of raw egg. All right. Whoops. Oh, way to go. Oh, 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 sloppy. Oh, Marlena. Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Paul Boyd is not going to have a clue what to expect when he comes to this place. Lauren gets the first taste. Lauren gets the first taste. All right. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Smitty, you grab. It'll be crunchy. You get the one that fell on the on the table. You know what it does smell? on the floor. Can I honestly... It smells like uh, a street that where when we a go street. to street. <laughs> no, no, no. It smells like it smells, it smells like, like, like the road. It smells, like, it smells like North Front. No, when we go to Paris, we stay on the street uh, called Rue Claire, and it's got all these markets and mm-hmm. stuff on it. 
It smells like that. So I mean, right. it meat. smells. Yeah, it's got that smell of the meat. Yeah, yeah. Venison has a real uh, Smitty? Okay, real good you ready? Smell here we go. Okay, here we go. Nice and crunchy, too, huh? <laughs> Lauren just got some on his shirt. Mm, get him a bib. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes it's things that are so simple, it can be so good. Eh? Mm -hmm. We're going to eat more of this. We're going to take a quick it. break. Isn't this delicious? I love venison. We're going to take a quick break. I love Bambi. When we come back... <laughs> uh, we'll